What's up, guys? This is Crow1176. How's everybody doing today? So, um, I had a few questions that, you know, people want me to answer. So, okay. So, let's get started really quick. And the first one was, do I use Darby? No. I used to use Darby. Now I don't. And as you can see, it's right here. I haven't used it for a while already. Um, I will use it for my son. I'm getting him a, like a short throw projector. And I want to use it because, you know, I'm going to move my whole living room and my screen's going to move. Everything's going to be moved. Everything's going to be on my redo my screws. I got some other Atmos speakers that I'm going to put up and everything like that. So I'll show you that later on. But, yeah, it's going to take a little bit, but I will. Uh, also, they're asking me, um, a lot of people have Onkyos and stuff like that. Um, what receiver do I have? I have a Denon receiver. And this is the model number, guys. All right, here you go. It's a ABR S nine ten W. Okay, that's the receiver I have. This is what it does. Okay, and I do have it in eco mode and all that. So, um, they were asking me about um, how to upscale. You know, because. Uh, the Onkyo has the same thing, 1080p and 4K upscaling, right? Um, you could do it, but you know what? I, I really I really don't know what projector do you have because as you can see here, I got an Epson, an Epson 2045. And that, um, that kind of projector uh, accepts the signal from from an upscaling receiver that's what i'm trying to say you know so i don't know what kind of projector you have because i tested it out with um i tested it out with um the optima hd 66 that's the one i have and it would just flicker it would flicker like bad because it it, it it wouldn't accept it you know, so I don't want to tell you that you know all the uh, all the projectors will accept the signal because some won't. So I don't know about DLP. You know, so um, there you go. And the way you do it, people are asking me. You got to go to your your setup, your setup menu. Okay, and then sorry about the video, guys. Once you go to your setup video, go to video. I don't know if Anki is the same. It should be the same, guys. You hit that. You're going to want to go to Output Settings. Okay? Output Settings. Hit that. And then Video Auto. I, I, I leave it. Video Mode, I leave it in Auto. Uh, conversion is on. Uh, upscale and HDMI. Uh, people are asking me, what kind of HDMI cable do you have? I have a Monster. Okay, a Monster. HDMI 4K, all right. It's a it's a 4K um, high speed. I think it's 18 gigabytes uh, high speed, and it's great for 3D. It's great for 4K. It's it, you know, and it's a 25 footer. Yeah, it costs an arm and a leg, but they're really great guys. Monster makes great cables. That's what I use. All right. Uh, so then, when you go to resolution. That's what you're gonna do. See, you got different ones here. You got 480, 1080i, 720, 1080p. All right. Um, but see, 24 hertz. So, so it's gonna give you like 23, something like that. But with the Darby, it pops the images, you know. But I, I I took the Darby out because it wouldn't work with the upscaling and resolution for this one. So you just hit that and then. You, you should be you should be good to go man and but I mean like I said you guys might want to just test it because I don't know if 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 your um, receiver actually accepts you know it actually accepts the the the, the upscale from I mean your your projector. I don't know if it, it it will accept it, guys. I don't know. You know, the signal. 
So there you go. Look at the resolution. It's right there. And guys, I I do not know how Epson. I'm not a professional. I'm not gonna uh, try to be one and say, oh yeah, I know how it happened. And I don't. I don't really know, man. I I've read and read, and I just I for some reason Epson accepts the you know the resolution like this. It accepts it, you know. Uh, a lot of people saying it's not actual 4, 4k I understand that but if the pixelation is higher the resolution is higher than 1080 then I'm good with that all right I am super good with that so you know I don't I know it's not true 4k I understand that but you know it's just something that people wanted to know and I'm answering and that is it you know and there you go guys um, that's what I did. That's my setup. Um, and if you're asking about <clears throat> this, this mix, this is my uh, hybrid semi-gloss. All right, and it looks amazing, right? So um, I'll make a video of this mix and some updates that I have on my mixes later. I hope this helps, guys. Like I said. I really don't know what kind of projectors you all have, and um, I know the Onkyo, uh, my brother-in-law has an Onkyo, but he doesn't have a projector. He has a 4K VZO TV, so it really doesn't matter if I'm trying to go, you know, if I try to upscale it over there. I don't know. I'll mess around with it. I'll make a video when I'm at his house, um, because he, I know he has an uh, Onkyo uh, that upscales, so I'll check it out. All right, so for now... Hopefully this helps you guys. If you have any more questions, let me know. I'll see you later. Bye. What's up, guys? This is Crow1176. How's everybody doing today? So, um, I had a few questions that, you know, people want me to answer. So, okay. So, let's get started really quick. And the first one was, do I use Darby? No. I used to use Darby. Now I don't. And as you can see, it's right here. I haven't used it for a while already. Um, I will use it for my son. I'm getting him a like a short throw projector, and I want to use it because you know I'm gonna move my whole living room and my screen's gonna move. Everything's gonna be moved. Everything's gonna be. I'm gonna be 